Uh, we started in 1941. In fact, it was started by uh, my father-in-law, Gene Nicolotti, and his partner, a guy named Alfredo Federici, whose nickname was, was Giorgetti. There's a lot of energy here. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a Chicago institution. It's an old-time steakhouse look. Uh, the place is always buzzing. And when you walk to the first floor, you'll see everybody talking to everybody because all the regulars know each other. It's basically an Italian steakhouse, and uh, we have a lot of Italian specialties and seafood specialties and chicken specialties. Uh, we, we serve only prime aged meat. We age the steaks for 28 days. We do our own cutting. Mario Navarro is our head chef and his staff. Everything is cut here, trimmed here, all the way down the line. So all the quality is controlled here. Only 2% of the beef produced in America is prime, and 90% uh, of that goes to restaurants. So you really couldn't buy it in a store. That's why people come to these great steakhouses. My father-in-law was a great man, established this great place, and uh, I got into it not knowing anything about the business after he passed away. And the most gratifying thing is that I haven't really screwed it up yet, and I think it's still doing well, and I think he'd be happy. All right, so Dan, Gene and Giorgetti is celebrating their 60th anniversary. Tell us how they do it. They do it by getting just the best damn beef you ever had in your life and cooking it perfectly and bringing it, it out hot, and it's... It's exactly what you're craving. You know that feeling when you're craving something and you get it and it's not quite right and you, you have this, that you're full but it's still this kind of empty feeling that never happens at Gina and Giorgetti. <laughs> you, it always tastes exactly right. Well, you think that um, Gina and Giorgetti is a true Chicago steakhouse. Because it doesn't, it doesn't need the stuff on the walls to tell you how Chicago it is. You know, it doesn't have the glitz and glamour of some of the other places. And I always feel young when I go into Gina Giorgetti's because it's an older clientele. It has a picture of Frank Sinatra up there because he ate there. It doesn't have some picture of Al Capone to make it feel really touristy Chicago. It's, it's very self-confident in that way. It doesn't have to fall all over itself proving to you how much testosterone it has or how special it is or how Chicago it is because it just is. Uh -huh. Is it Chicago also because of the customers being from Chicago? Because I do think they the get... the tracks too. Yeah, but they also, yeah. I think they do a lot of convention business there they as do. well. Mm -hmm. They get a huge draw mm -hmm. from out of town. Mm -hmm. They do. And actually, they're only open on Sundays. You know, their, their answering machine message says they're not open Sundays except for conventions. Right. A lot of restaurants do mm -hmm. that. I know we do that at Spago and a lot of the restaurants in that area too. It's like you stay open on a Sunday because during convention time you have thousands, you know, some conventions are 10,000 people or more. Wielding expense account back exactly credit right. cards. Right. That's right. Exactly. I like that the wait staff was an older staff, not the mm -hmm. younger um, people trying to be actors or actresses and waitressing. That's so cliche, but that they are people that have worked there and they're, they've uh, done their career at the right. restaurant. It looks like they, they've staffed the place with actors to play the roles of bartender and maitre d' and valet guy and waiter at an old urban steakhouse. I would say that a question that I have is whether or not, whereas once they may have been the best at doing what they do, if that is still the case. They're, um, I wonder if there aren't places now that do what they do, but perhaps a little bit better in a more comfortable surrounding. I compliment them for the, the modernization effort that's been underway there with the, the bathrooms and the bigger room. And, and all of that. And you know what you're going to get when you go to Gene. You, mm -hmm. you know it's going to be a little bit cozy, which is not a terrible thing, but there are places I think that are more physically comfortable and that may offer more choices for their diners or uh, you know, a better breadth or depth, whatever it is. That's true, yeah. but, but I go there when I know I want steak. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting anything else. I'm getting the onion rings, I'm getting the cottage fries, I'm getting my salad, I'm getting a steak. Mm -hmm. And I'm having a big bloody Cabernet with it. I don't even look at the menu. Yeah, and in that respect, it does not disappoint. It really doesn't. But it seems like there's also a, like a genre of Italian steakhouses right. where mm -hmm. you don't just have you mm -hmm. know your steak menu with your potatoes and and some other dishes, but you know Karen had fried ravioli, which is like typical, not like a steakhouse right. appetizer where like the sliced tomatoes would be. And the chicken Vesuvio is actually mm -hmm. famous too, but some mm -hmm. people go there just for that. Right. I don't. I, I don't go there for Italian food, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I go there for steak. There may be people who do order the the Italian. Entrees there. That's I ordered Italian food, and that's because it's Jean and Giorgetti. Mm -hmm. It sounded Italian to me, even though it's supposed to be a steakhouse. I thought it was a more Italian steakhouse mm -hmm. than just a steakhouse, and that's why I went right off the Italian side of the menu. 
And you talked a little bit about comfort in other mm -hmm. steakhouses or even other restaurants in general being a little more comfortable. Is it because the tables are so tight? Is it because well, they're tight and the chairs are a little smaller and uh, uh, the rooms are not spacious and they're voluminous in terms of today's restaurant standards, but um, it, it's fine. If you get up to go to the bathroom, you're doing a little bit of broken field running. There's uh -huh. no doubt about that. So you're picking your, your yes, spots. Your, yeah. right. right. It seems like the staff there um, can really work the room in terms of, you know, if someone does get up to go to the bathroom, kind of like maneuvering people around the entire restaurant to kind of get to where they need to go. Yeah, our service was wonderful. They, they let us take our time, uh, drinks. They didn't hurry us out of there. And this was a Saturday night when there were people lined up to come in. And there was no pressure whatsoever, which was refreshing. But if you tell them that you've got to make a movie or something, they'll, they'll pick up the pace. Right. Now, important. what are you talking mm -hmm. about modernization? You said that they were modernizing well, they, the, the bathrooms and the room that's just off of the main floor room beyond the staircase used to be much smaller. The bathrooms were uh, your classic Amoco service station type <laughs> bathrooms. Because it didn't look modern at all. It oh, looked no, like it was the same as it was about 40 years ago oh, no, or when Sinatra it's, went. I'm it's like, well, Y3K thing. now yeah. compared yeah. to what it was. <laughs> well, Dan, this is your recommendation, so wrap it up for us. I would say it is the city's best steak and if you go, I would go there hungry for steak because you will not be disappointed. And Karen? I don't think it was the best steakhouse, but I know that if you want to go there for a good quality steak, um, this is a good place to go. And Bob, for you? I would say that it's good, good steak, very dependable and reliable. Some places may do it better or offer you more choices. Well, you can find Gene and Giorgetti under the L at 500 North Franklin at 312-527. 3718. They're open six days a week for lunch and dinner. We do know they are usually closed on Sundays, but they might be open for some during conventions. And the average tab is about 35 to 45 a person without drinks.